I'm curious, as, as two superhero fans, I know y'all didn't know that, so. I've I, I seen a Joker comic. Uh, I, I didn't know about the Superman. I saw memes about it, but as, about it. Well, I, I didn't know what day it was. Man. I watched Man of Steel in tribute to Superman Day yesterday. <laughs> if I would have known, I probably would have too. I'm curious, right? As two comic book fans, right? Y'all have seen the, the the Justice League. Y'all have seen Henry Cavill. As as two fans who, who who are Batman from the DC universe, don't hate Superman, but you're a Batman guy. Do y'all feel that Henry Cavill could carry his own movie at this point in time? I'm going to vote yes. Do you disagree with the report? Do you think he's capable of doing it? I think he's capable of doing it. Just I'm being I'm being just upfront with that. Um, my well, I'll let Moses get to it in a second. But my reasoning behind it was plain and simple. Like, I feel like one man still, of course, wasn't always uh, the best received Superman movie. I still feel it was good. Uh, after Justice League, this is my biggest thing. After Justice League, after he came back to life, it just rang Superman to me. I felt more tied to the character of Superman than. I did before. I felt like from the Man of Steel up until when he died, I didn't feel I didn't feel the truth just as an American way. In a in a, in a, way, in a form of fashion. You don't know what uh, American way is. But. <laughs> I, I, I know, right now it's debatable. Right now it's very yeah, debatable. I get what you mean, though. I get what you mean. But um, traditionally, that's what he has always stood for. Um, so to me, basically, after I saw, let's put it like this. I felt like I was watching Red Sun Superman from Man of Steel all the way up to, like, recently. He was darker. He was more this and this and that. Uh, after he revived, I felt more of a animated series, more of a um, more of a uh, all-star Superman vibe, vibe out of him. The hopefulness, even though, you know, whatever was going to happen. Ooh, okay. Good. I, I see you think I'm, – I'm just – because y'all know I'm biased. Right, so I'm always going to want a Superman film movie. So of course I'm going to say, "Hell yeah, Henry Cavill can carry it," because I just want to see a movie. But I'm I'm curious to hear y'all's perspective. Okay, so there, there's a couple of things. I undoubtedly believe he can carry a Superman movie easily. It's just here. Here's the here's the bind we, we find ourselves in, and I echo everything Fred said when. We talk about uh, when Superman came back to life. Mm -hmm. That Superman for me, regardless of like the CGI mustache, the thing, Superman was the best part of Justice League once he came back. Loved him, absolutely loved what he became. But even when Fred saying like Red Sun Superman, and listen, like I gotta say, I, I told y'all not too long ago, Red Sun Superman probably was my favorite Superman. It was some, I don't know what it was about that one, it just did something for me. Now, what I'll say is this. Josh Whedon did that version of Superman that we saw when he came back to life. If Superman isn't that same Superman, when we see the Snyder Cut, how big of an effect is that going? Or possibly, think about this. Warner Brothers did say Superman probably can't lead uh, uh, the Man of Steel 2. So that's, probably, that's why they haven't did it yet. Are they saying that because they seen the Snyder Cut and that version of Superman that they seen in us is like, yeah, this is not the guy we want leading our next movie. Oh, you bring up a hell of a good point. That is, yes, that is a really good point. Now, you're right. That was <laughs> we Superman, not Zack Snyder. So I, I would have to say I would be somewhat disappointed <laughs> if he's not the big blue Boy Scout. Well, we know he's not going to be. He's going to come back as Black Suit Superman. And if he comes back as Black Suit Superman, I don't think that's a bad thing either because I think that's what, not going to lie, as a Superman fan, I wanted the beard and the long hair. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't lie. I, did too. I, I did wanted too. it because, you know, when that movie was coming out, we had the rumors and these pictures of the Black Suit, and I'm just like, give it to me. I need But, here's, a, but, no, but here's the I, thing, though. You can do that and still have him become the big blue boy scout by the end of that movie. See, I don't know about that. The reason to say I don't know about that is because BVS set up an apocalyptic Superman. A Superman being controlled by Darkseid. That was what the Flash Forward was about. That was part of Zack Snyder's future vision. So does that mean when Superman comes back, he's no longer 
Superman, but just possessed. I think it was a possible future because you know they they were setting up Flashpoint. I think it was a possible. Um, yeah, yeah. I think it could be. What did what did what did he say? What did what did what did what did Flash say to but don't let her die or or, what, or whatever in the vision? Lois, she's, she's the key. Lois, she's the key. She's the key. Right, right, right. So like that's like that's exactly it. like you can't. Like, so that's getting off track. But I because you make a very good point. If Snyder cut Superman is, let's say. He's a Superman from um, Dark Side Apocalypse, right? Just ready for a fight. Not the big blue sky. Just ready to go into and have war and kill. Not to say that I mind it, but I don't. I could see. That's why I could see if that's not what Warner Brothers wants. They're gonna wait and see what happens. Not right it's now. Smarter. Especially yeah. Not right now. Not, not right I now. think. I, I think after the smart, I think a lot of things will be a lot clearer just in general after this Snyder Cut comes out because I really want to see what Superman would get. I know. And I'm like you, I want to see Black Suit Superman, but at the same time, in order for us to get a Man of Steel 2, we need to see the big, the big Blue Boy Scout. Because especially in, I just think in general, in the times now, we, he, Superman, listen, I love He's a Batman, symbol of hope. But he's Batman is not that light. He's not right. Superman is the first superhero, the, the guy, I was reading, uh, I, I he, saw the comic. Um, <laughs> he's the superhero, the original superhero. On, on Superman read it, and it was Lois Lane talking about Superman and how he, how he does all these things and, 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 and how Superman is great, but they forget about Clark Kent and how um, in a world we live in. But it was one line she said in that he can choose to be anything he wants to be, but he chooses to be kind. And I was just like, that's it's because you know it's a difference between we raised in the south it's different between being nice and kind kind is like who your personality are you talk to yeah. me like nice is like oh like i'm gonna be nice because i'm supposed to be nice. but kind yeah. are and like I, I agree with you like that's the superman we need somebody who's just going to be a beacon of hope to do the right thing and if if snyder cut doesn't give us that i just i don't know I mean, because I think about the line he says when he shows up. Is this guy bothering you, ma'am? You know, the fact that he shows up from campus, he says, ma'am, like. Dog, I'm, like, as much as, as many problems as Justice Lee have. That Superman, wasn't one of them. Superman's character is not one of them. It's not. It wasn't. Like, I feel like his, his response to what happened to him was great. Was great. So we'll see. I didn't want to get off top, get off topic, but I was curious as to what you guys thought. And could, That's a very. But you, I think, because you made very good point out of all three of us, it's like I guess we will just have to wait and see what we get with the Snyder Cut. Yeah. 